Hello, friends. Over the past two weeks, we've received lots of questions about continuing to allow in-person worship as COVID-19 numbers have been increasing in our area. And even now, as those numbers look like they may be leveling off or even decreasing slightly, they remain at a level that is concerning to me and to the leaders here at First Presbyterian Church. As is the case with any decision, we, your church leaders, hold two things in tension. The first is our desire to help keep you, our church family and friends, healthy and safe in this time. The other is the knowledge that church and in-person worship in particular is a critical social and emotional lifeline to so many in our community who have most acutely experienced the isolation that this pandemic has brought. I'm speaking to you today clearly recognizing both of those realities. First, I want to thank those of you who have returned to in-person worship for your willingness to adhere to all the safety protocols that have helped to keep First Pres safe in this time. It is our plan to continue to allow for in-person worship. But once again, I have to remind you that we are only able to do that as long as you're willing to continue being vigilant when you're here in the church building. This means wearing a mask at all times in the church building and being sure that your mask covers both your nose and your mouth. Being vigilant means entering the building through the Boone Street door and maintaining social distancing both inside and outside of our worship areas. It means utilizing the available hand sanitizer to prevent the spread of illness. I know that you're probably getting tired of hearing these reminders from me, but please remember that carefully following these safety measures will allow for us to continue allowing for in-person worship, which, as we all know, is a critically important social and emotional support for so many in our church family. Secondly, I want to take a moment and thank those of you who have continued to worship with us virtually throughout this time. It's our hope to continue making that a meaningful and engaging experience online. Your continued and faithful participation in online worship is such an encouragement to everyone involved in bringing First Presbyterian Church to you each and every week. Lastly, I want to ask a favor of some of you. We know that for some, worshiping online has been a tremendous obstacle, either because of available technology in the home or because of a lack of technological know-how. We also know that for others... Worshiping online wasn't ideal, but that you were able to participate nonetheless. Many of you have returned to in-person worship, and it's been great to see you. The favor I have to ask, though, is of folks in this particular group, those for whom the technology wasn't a problem, but who have, for whatever reason, returned to in-person worship. In an effort to continue to allow for worship in the church building, and also to keep our numbers of in-person attendees small during this time of increased cases, I would like to ask those of you who are comfortable with the technology to worship with us once again online for at least the next couple of weeks. Making this small sacrifice will help us to continue being open for those who need us to be open and will help us to weather this current uptick in illness in our area. Like you, I look forward to the days when such requests and sacrifices will be unnecessary. But as we've said from the beginning, First Presbyterian Church, the whole church, is in this thing together. Sacrifices, whether that's wearing a mask in person or worshiping from home, are simple and small ways to show our love and concern for one another. It is such an honor making this unexpected journey with you. God is strengthening us in this time, and God continues to be worshipped by the whole church in this time. Thank you for all that you are doing and will do to make First Presbyterian Church of Johnson City the best it can be. Blessings, and we'll see you real soon.